Hi, this is Brian from iSpring, and today I'm going to show you how to create an online quiz for Moodle. Moodle is an open source learning management system that lets you upload and track course materials for students registered in the system. To create a quiz, we'll use iSpring QuizMaker, the complete quiz authoring tool that's fast and easy to learn and lets you create stunning tests and surveys for any popular device or learning management system. When you open QuizMaker, you'll see a quick start screen that shows your recent work. You're also given the option to create a new graded quiz or non-graded survey. Let's create a graded quiz for Moodle. I'm going to make a simple quiz about Mount Everest. We start with an intro slide which is listed here on the left along with questions and result slides. If you want, you can disable it with this checkbox, but I'm going to add a little intro message. Now we can go right over here to slide view mode to see how it looks. First I'll pick a preset theme from this list, and then I'll add a background picture to the intro slide. Go to Format Background, select the Picture option, and find the file on your computer. Now I'll close this window and edit the text. I can't see this text very well, so I'll make both of these text boxes white. and I'd also like to change the font. Let's use Papyrus. And I want to resize this text. I'll take it down to 16. Now I'll move them both down to the bottom so they can be seen against the background. We're ready to start adding questions, so I'll go back to form view. iSpring QuizMaker offers 11 graded and 12 survey questions for you to choose from. I'll start this quiz with a true-false question. I'll enter the text here. This radio button identifies the correct answer. Note that you can also insert images and equations, audio, video, and flash movies to questions or slides. Down here in the Options tab, you can disable default options and configure scoring, attempts, and time limits. Go to the Feedback and Branching tab and select Buy Question to give your users custom feedback for correct and incorrect answers. Here, if you like, you can also take them to different slides or questions based on the answer given. Let's go back to Slide View to add another background picture. Looks great! Now let's go back to Form View and add a multiple choice question. I'll enter the question and give the three possible answers. And once again, we'll go back to slide view and add a background. And we need to make this text white so it shows up. Next, let's add a multiple response question. Enter the text and provide answer choices. Mark the correct answers with checkboxes. And again, we go to slide view to pick a background. Now we'll add a type in question. This question prompts the user to type in an answer. Add as many acceptable variants as you like. Now back to slide view to add a background. And we'll change this text to black. And finally, we'll add a numeric question. With this question type, users are prompted to enter a number that matches the conditions you enter below. Choose a mathematical operator and enter the number. If you like, you can add more conditions with the green plus icon. And back to slide view where we pick another background for this question. Now we're ready to customize our result slides. Just like the intro slide, you can enable and disable them with this checkbox, and these options control the information the user sees on pass or fail. To learn more about these options, see the tutorial, How Does a Student Review Results After a Test is Submitted? I'll just enter some text on both of these slides, and go back to slide view to add backgrounds and tidy them up. Now we're ready to preview our quiz by clicking the Preview button on the toolbar. A more dynamic preview is available after publishing, so let's look at that right now. To publish a quiz for Moodle, 
go to the LMS tab. For more info about these other destinations and these output options, see the How to Publish a Quiz series of tutorials. The Mobile HTML5 option works fine on most devices, so we'll use that. Also, make sure Zip Output is checked to create a single convenient package. Give the quiz a title and select a destination folder. Now let's go to the Learning Course tab. This is the information that will be sent to Moodle. Select SCORM 1.2 from the Type dropdown and fill in the title fields. You can also give the quiz a description and enter keywords if you like. And we'll report the status to Moodle as passed failed. Now we're ready to publish. iSpring QuizMaker will take just a few seconds to publish the quiz and open the preview window. Here you can see how your quiz will look on different devices and in different browsers. To upload it to Moodle, click Open Folder. And here is the zip file containing the published course, also known as a SCORM package. Now you're ready to go to Moodle. You can test out Moodle for free at Moodle.org. Go to Demo and select Mount Orange School. Click Choose a Role and select the Teacher Role. Click the first option here to log in. On the right, Moodle offers logins for different roles. Log in as a teacher. Now let's go down here and click the option to upload a file to our course. Over here on the right, click the button to turn editing on. From the folder containing your quiz, drag it over to Moodle. Make sure the icon says Move and not Copy. Select Add a SCORM package from the list of options and click Upload. It may take some time for your quiz to upload to the Moodle server. When it's done, click its name. Now click Enter to preview the quiz. I'll just take the quiz real quick so we can check the results. Now back up here it shows that we passed and our score and percentage. Click the name of the quiz in the breadcrumbs to see the result. Here it shows a summary of our last attempt. If you like you can also go to the reports tab. Here's a list of example users and there's our attempt. To have a closer look, click the attempt number. This screen shows more details. And that's it for this tutorial. Enjoy using iSpring to create all your Moodle content. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.